Compound interest is an interest accumulated on the principal and interest together over a given time period. The interest accumulated on a principal over a period of time is also accounted under the principal. Further, the interest calculation for the next time period is on the accumulated principal value. Compound interest is the new way or new method of calculation of interest used for all financial and business transactions across the world. The power of compounding can easily be understood when we observe the compound interest accumulated across the successive time periods. Let us understand more about this and the calculation of compound interest in this video. Meron ako ipapakita sa inyong uh, mga terms for the compound interest. So we have here the compound frequency, we have annually, and also the next column we have number of compound in a year. So kapag sinabing annually, yan po ay equivalent sa isang taon, one year. Semi-annually, that is equivalent to two terms. So uh, twice a year. Okay? So we have also quarterly. Ibig sabihin, ang number of terms, we have four. And also monthly, the number of, th uh, the number of terms compounding is 12, uh, 12 times or 12 terms. Okay, so here we have the goal of this lesson. In this lesson, you will be able to define and illustrate compound interest. Also, distinguish simple from compound interest and find the interest maturity value and present value in a compound interest. So itong mga bagay na to, especially the maturity value, present value, and compound interest, these are the accumulated amount. Okay, so like for example, yung sa simple interest natin, di ba? So there are there are two types of interest. Simple interest, uh, basically yearly lang siya, annually. So one term lang po siya. Pero itong compound interest, nabibigyan siya ng uh, iba't ibang terms. Okay, at bawat taon nagbabago ang uh, principal amount natin dito sa compound interest. Okay, so moving on to this formula, the compound interest formula uh is looks like this okay so we have a so pwedeng f yan minsan ginagamit yung f pero usually a ang ginagamit natin because it talks about the amount okay uh a is also the accumulated amount the uh the present value or the uh, no that 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 is not the present value that is the maturity amount okay so yung pinaman dito uh talks about the principal so, ito yung initial value. Kung nagpautang, ito yung unang, ito yung, uh, ito yung binigay sa iyo nung nag-umutang ka, no? So, tapos yung 1 dito is a uh, fixed variable plus R, the interest rate. So, it can be represented by decimal form over N. Ito naman yung N, yung kanina, no? Yung pinakita ko sa inyong table, the number of times interest is compounded per year. Ito yung terms. Okay? Ano ba yung condition na ibibigay sa iyo? Uh, magbabayad ka ba monthly? Magbabayad ka ba ng uh, uh, daily, ng yearly? So ito yung n. Yun yung n. Okay? Also we have n dito. Imo-multiply yan sa time. Okay? So para makuha mo ngayon yung pinaka force amount, yung pinaka total amount value. Okay? Kung kung kung, kung paano nag-mature yung value mo, uh, yung value na babayaran mo kung umutang ka, o kaya naman yung value na makukuha mo kung, kung nag-invest ka naman. Okay, so that is the compound interest formula. Okay, let us try the first example here. So we have uh, the deposits. Okay, so find the compound amount on deposit at the end of the year if 20,000 pesos is deposited at 4% compounded annually or semi-annually. Using the formula we have here, let me write here the formula. We have A equals B times 1 plus R. Okay, over N raised to uh, NT, right? So we have this formula. So letter A, it talks about the annually. Pag sinabing annually, sa terms, di ba yan ay isang taon lang. So ibig sabihin, uh, isang 
uh, isang taon, isang terms lang po ang gagamitin natin dito. So, we will be using this formula, A equals, nilagyan natin sa taas. I think, ito na yung formula na yun, no? So, ang N natin is 1, di ba? So, we have the given na lang. So, let us write all the given here. So, we have A that is missing. P, identify natin. R and N. Ito yung mga given na hahanapin natin dito para masagutan natin itong annually, the first question. Kasi ang pinaka-goal natin is to find the amount on deposit at the end of one year. Kung merong 4%, at meron kang uh, dineposit na 20,000 pesos. Okay? So, the principal amount, uh, the, the accumulated amount is missing. Wala pa yan. However, the principal amount, meron tayong 20,000. So, basically, kung, kung pag-uusapan natin ay banko, nag-deposit ka daw ng 20,000 dun sa banko. At binigyan ka ng banko ng 4% rate. So, that is 4%. Okay? So, tinuruan ko na kayo paano mag-convert ng 4% to decimal rate. Tama? Decimal per uh, decimal point or decimal number. So, that is 0.04. Okay? Also, we have here the, the N. Okay? Since yan ay annually, that is 1. At may nakalimutan ako dito, the time. So, ang sabi dito, at the end of 1 year. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ang time po natin is fixed. That is one year. Okay, so ang hanapin natin is yung A value or yung accumulated amount. So we have here the solution. A is equal. So input lang natin yung mga bagay na yan. So we have here the P that is 20,000 pesos times 1 plus the R. The R is 0.04. Oops. Over 1 raised to n. That is 1 times 1. Parang 1 na lang din lalabas yan, di ba? So, here we have, kung i-ano natin yan, i-compute natin yan sa calculator, uh, pwede natin siya isulat na 20,000 uh, times 1 plus 0 .04. Kasi yung 0 0.04, dinivide kay 1, yun lang din naman yun, di ba? Raised to 1. Okay, so automatic na yan, no? kahit, wala, kahit hindi na kayo maglagay ng raise to 1 dyan, automatic na may naka-raise talaga dyan sa 1. Pero for the sake of presentation, pakita na natin. And for us to compute the A value or yung compound amount na na-deposit mo sa bank, 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 <laughs> sa banko, uh, that would be 20,000 times 1 plus 0 0.04, that would be 20,000, 8, 100 pesos. Okay, so ganyan uh, ganyan kalaki ngayon ng pera mo kung meron kung merong 4% na interest rate at the end of 1 year compounded annually. Okay, so yan lang, lang no, let us ident first step identify mo lang yung mga given. Pag na-identify mo na yung given, you could use the formula here. Okay? So also since na-identify na natin given, isolve na natin yung semi-annually. So, annually is 1. Okay, yung n niya 1. Semi-annually, ang n niya is 2. Okay, so every 6 months kang mag, uh, mag-function itong uh, 4% na rate dito. So, we have the solution. Of course, gagamitin natin yung formula dito na given. So, we have P that is 20,000 times 1 plus uh, R. We have 0 0.04 over, this time, hindi na siya 1, that would be 2. Okay? Tapos, ang N natin dito is 2 ren times 1. Okay? So, basically, parang ang napalitan lang dito is yung N. Dito kasi ang N natin is 1, so kaya 1 yung nailagay natin dito. Okay? So, ito ren kasi ito ay NT, right? Ito yung N. So, if we will be um, simplifying this uh, particular equation, 20,000 times 1 plus 0 0.04 over 2 raised to 2 times 1, that would be 20,000, 
808 pesos. Okay? So, kung i-observe natin ang dalawang value, kapag ka-annually, uh, parang ang, ang lumalabas ay 20,800. However, kapag ka may annually parang medyo mas mataas ata ng uh, 8 piso, no? So, dito, 20,800. Okay, so that is the first example when you are uh, doing a deposit in a specific uh, bank or any transaction na uh, magagamitan mo ng ganitong problem, particular uh, formula. Okay, so that is the first uh, problem. Okay, the next one we have, in this case, I'll be showing you how to invest naman, no? So what what should be the expected amount kapag ka magi-invest ka naman, no? So if we have 320,000 pesos, uh it is invested for 5 years at 8% compounded quarterly. So the the the, the end term is identified already. So that is 4, right? I want you to find the compound amount Also, the compound interest. So, this time, ang hahanapin naman natin yung compound amount and yung compound uh, interest. So, try natin. So, we have here the, the first one, the compound amount. Okay. So, here we have the given. Let us identify the given. So, that is, we have A, we have P, we have R, we have N, we have T. Okay, so A is already given. So, ang sabi dito, ang A natin is uh, 300. As though, hindi pala A yan, no? Uh, the A would be, um, wala pa, no? Uh, the principal amount is already given here. So, that is 320,000. Also, the R is already given as well. 8% yan. At yung N is 4 dahil compounded quarterly siya. And the time is 5. Ang hanapin muna natin is compound amount. Okay? So, we are, we are talking about, pag sinabing compound amount, yun na po yung maturity value. Paano na, kung magkano yung nagmatch, kung paano nagmature yung pera mo na ininvest. Okay? So, we have here the solution. So, A is equal to P, that is 320,000 or 320K times 1 plus R uh, would be 0.08 dahil 8% yan over 4. Raised to 4 times uh, 5 dahil 5 years po siya. So this one is the rate. This one is the time. This one is the principal. Okay, so If we are going to solve or pursue this uh, particular equation, that is 320 times 1 plus 0.08 over 4, raised to 4 times 5, type nyo sa calculator nyo yan, uh, the amount value or the compound amount would be 475 pesos, 1,503.75. Okay, so... Ganyan po nagmature yung ininvest mo sa particular investment uh, investment firm. Okay, so uh, from the 320,000 pesos, nag-invest ka no, for just 5 years, no? That is long with the 8% compounded uh, quarterly. So your money grows 4,000 475,500 Uh, 3.17 So, ngayon, alamin naman natin sa letter B Sagutan na natin ito, eh, no? Ang sabi dito, uh, what should be the compound interest? Pag sinabing interest mo, yun yung parang kinita mo Doon sa, uh, doon sa in-invest mo Okay? So, basically, kapag kasi nahanap nyo yung compound interest Pagkakin natin ito yung compound interest, CI si Ang formula lang would be compound amount Ano ba yung compound amount? Yung A Okay, so pwede natin isulat na A na lang yan, no? Pwedeng si A, if you want to, minus the principal. Kung magkano yung in-invest mo. Okay, so 
ang compound amount mo na grow yung pera mo ng 470,000 75,503.17 minus okay minus 320,000 si at uh, 20,000 pesos okay so ito yung ating compound amount ito yon yung sagot natin sa letter A at ito naman kung magkano yung ininvest mo Okay, so subtract lang natin silang dalawa kung net difference that is 155,503.17 pesos. Okay, kung titignan natin malaki yung kinita mo no after 5 years kung meron kang investment na ganito, no kumita ka ng 155,503.17 17. So, that should be the compound interest. Okay? So, sabi ko nga sa inyo, ang compound interest, para makuha nyo, isubtract mo lang, kunin mo lang yung difference ng accumulated amount o yung compound amount minus your particular investment value, yung P. Okay? So, that's it. That's example number 2. Moving on. We have the example number three. This should be the last example na ipapakita ko sa inyo. So, let's try this one. The investment, once again. What amount must be invested in order to have 128,376.52 after 8 years? If no money is worth 6% compounded, if money is worth 6% compounded semi-annually. Okay, so alamin natin ngayon yung kung magkano kaya yung in-invest mo naman. Kung meron ka ditong uh, uh, compound amount na 128,376.52. Okay, so ang gagawin natin dito, uh, you will, we will be using the formula, no? And we will do some algebra method. Okay, so we have here the formula. I review natin. A equals uh, P times 1 plus R over N raised to N T. Kung bibigyan natin ng given yung formula, so this one is already an A value. Okay, so may given tayo na A that is 128,000. 376.52 Okay? Tapos may time na rin tayo May P ba tayo? Wala pa May time ba tayo? May time tayo That is 8 years Okay? So that is 8 years And meron ba tayong N? Meron din tayong N The N would be compounded semi-annually That is 2 Ang hinahanap dito is yung principal amount. Magkano ang ininvest mo para kumita ka ng ganitong 128,376 after 8 years na may 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 6% pala na interest. Ito, nakalimutan natin, 6% or 0.06. Okay, alamin natin kung paano natin makukuha yun. But before before to, before we do that, uh, gamitin, ito yung solution natin. No? Isasubstitute na natin yung A We have 128,376.52 equals P. P is missing, hindi pa natin alam, times 1 plus R, that is 0.06 over N. That should be 2, dahil semi-annually, raised to 2 times the time we have 8. Okay? So, <clears throat> We will do some algebra here, no? So, ang gagawin natin dito, para maiwan si P, ito kasi yung kailangan nating mahanap. No? Yung P, the principal amount. E, divide natin both sides, or i-isolate natin si P dyan sa right side. Okay? So, mag-divide tayo ng 1 plus 0.06, 0.06 over 2. Lagyan natin ng parenthesis. Times 16. Okay? So, 2 times 8 is 16. Ganun din sa kabila, 1 plus 0.06 over 2 raised to 16. Okay, so we will be canceling this particular value ang may iwan ngayon si P. 
Okay, the goal is to find the P. At para mahanap yun, kailangan mo i-simplify itong 128,376.52 divided by 1 plus 0.06 over 2 raised to 16. Okay, pwede mong idiretso na yan sa calculator para hindi ka mahirapan. Gumamit ka lang ng fraction bar. At ang sagot o ang lalabas dito, we have 128. 1,376.52. Kung gusto mo nang i-simplify muna ito, in denominator, uh, that should be um, 1.03 raised to 16. Furthermore, kapag ka isusold na natin, no, ipad ko lang si P dito sa kabila. So, this one, type mo sa calculator ngayon, that is 80,000 0.003. O kaya naman, 80,000 pesos lang. Okay, so 80,000 pesos. That is the principal amount. Okay, yan yung in-invest mo para kumita ka ng ganito kalaki after 8 years. Okay, so this is your initial amount. And that is compound interest in terms of investment and deposits.